In this video, I'll replace an existing outlet with an outlet that has built-in USB charging ports on it. So this is a device from SZICT. It's available on Amazon for around $30. And uh, included is the device. They also have good instructions in English and also a white cover plate, um, which is good for me because it's a different style plate, as you can see. It also includes uh, white screws for installing the cover plate. The device is nice. It has a QC 3.0 charging port for quick charging and also has a USB type C charging port uh, for charging um, things like modern cell phones. You can charge tablets with this uh, up to, I believe it's like up to 60 volts, between five and 60 volts. It's an incredible new standard. The device itself has a grounding screw, a hot and a neutral area. So the hot's where like your black wire would go, the neutral's where the white wire would go. Also has these built-in screws for actually attaching the device to your electrical box. Everything is standard size and it's a UL listed device. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead to install this. First, remove the existing cover plate. This is done using a flathead screwdriver. Always make sure the circuit is off that you're working on. I'm testing it here with a pen tester to make sure. Once I'm satisfied that the power is turned off, I remove the screws. You can use the screw, uh, flathead screwdriver or it's easier to use a drill, which is what I did in this case. So using the drill, I removed the device and then pulled it away from the wall and inspected the wires that I had. You'll have a couple different configurations. My particular one had a hot wire coming in and out. That's these black wires here. And then it also has neutrals coming in and out, which means this is being fed power and also passing power through to either other outlets or other lights in my house. The device I have will be able to accommodate this same setup, uh, but I'll need to do it a little bit differently. The first thing I'll do is remove these black and white and ground wires from the outlet. You can twist them back and forth loose, but I'm just going to cut them with a pair of strippers my wires are long enough that I'll be able to cut them uh, and be able to still strip them back and fit them on the new device. The grounding wire is held on with a screw and that's one I don't need to cut. So I'll go ahead and loosen that. Just comparing the old and new device, we can see that they're very similar. They both have the neutral screw on the left side, but the new device has a single screw with two holes where I can put the wires in instead of two separate screws. And then also the hot side is like a, a copper, more of a copper colored screw. It's on the right side of the device. And it also has a spot accepting two wires, which would be perfect in my case. If you have more than two wires, you may need to use a wire nut and um, put three wires or more together under one wire nut and then run it to your device. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the ground to this device. Luckily, my grounding wire was already curled over from the last device, so I'll just wrap it around the grounding screw and tighten it. We see that there's two grounding wires held together with a green wire nut so that my grounding is passing through down line on the circuit. The next thing I'll do is separate out the black and white wires and using a pair of number 12 strippers, since this is number 12 wire, I'm going to cut the wires back a little bit just to make sure I have them straight and then go ahead and pinch and strip each one of these. And I'm not gonna be curling over the end because this type of outlet is gonna take the wire in straight instead of wrapping it around the screw. So I'll strip the black wires and the white wires and then we'll install it on the device. I'll start with the white neutral wires. And the way these work, if you hold it down, if you hold it in this position, uh, gravity will keep the plate down on the screw. So I'll put both of these in and then still kind of holding it in here with my finger, I'll go ahead and tighten this, which is really just pinching a plate uh, towards this screw. So as I tighten, it pinches that, uh, that plate forward, which will hold these wires in place. I give them a slight tug to make sure that they're not going to come loose. And then I repeat this process with the black wires. These are the hot wires and um, I just put them in, making sure that gravity is holding that screw in the down position. We'll place each one of these wires in individually, and then again, tighten it. 
it may help to have a second pair of hands helping in this process. But go ahead and get that tightened down um, nice and snug. Make sure that when you pull on those wires, they don't come loose. And now all the electrical is done uh, for this device. So we have hot and neutral wires coming in and out, and also our ground passing in and out. The last thing to do is just bend these wires and push them back in the box, making sure the neutral doesn't come into contact with any of the metal on the device, any of the neutral or hot. We'll push this back in, and then using either a flathead or Phillips uh, screwdriver, we can tighten these screws. I'll use my Phillips drill. These screws do have uh, adjusting to, or the hole that the screw goes through rather, lets you slide it from left to right so that you can align. Sometimes your electrical box isn't exactly straight, so you can straighten it out that way before tightening it down to make sure that you get your plate on looking nice and straight. Now that I have mine on straight, I will add the cover plate, which just uses these flathead uh, metal screws and that's the whole process, guys. Hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any. Check out my other video where I show uh, the performance of this charging outlet. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.